the Education, Health and Social Care Plan and the Person-Centred Connection. What is person-centred planning? Person-centred planning is a term used to describe a process that aims to put parents, children and young people at the centre of planning and decisions that affect them. When children and young people are meaningfully involved with the help or guidance of parents, this can change their attitude, behaviour, enhance their learning and ensure that everyone involved are active partners in plans that are all about them. It's a simple philosophy, but in order to make it all happen, it requires the help of professionals trained in this approach and also for families and friends to think differently too. For an EACP to be person-centred, it requires everyone involved in the 20-week assessment process to begin by knowing the aspirations, hopes and dreams of the child or young person. In order for a person-centred EHCP to be created, it requires certain questions to be asked and considered during the assessment process, including identifying areas of strength, skills and talents alongside needs. It is essential that sufficient detail is identified in order to fully understand and appreciate exactly what it is that's meaningful to the person and what good support looks like to make that happen. It is vital that it reflects what's possible not just what is available. The first two of these questions are important too. What is valued and what makes life worth living? And important for what support is required to enable a healthy and safe life and a sense of belonging to the community? This information can also be used to create a one page profile which can be included in section A or simply be kept with the EHCP. A one-page profile is literally a sheet of A4, handwritten or produced on the computer with a photo or picture in three parts. What we like and admire, what makes life worth living and what good support looks like. Another pair of questions that will be used when developing the EHCP include What's working? This establishes what's going well and probably should therefore continue. And what's not working? What needs to be reviewed and changed? What are outcomes? Outcomes are a way of identifying the steps required to take the child or young person forward in their life towards their aspirations. Although outcomes need to be measurable, it is essential that they are personalised, relevant and ambitious, otherwise they are not person-centred. The EHCP should ensure that all the strategies, support and services are clearly specified in the provision sections of the EHCP, F, G, H1 and H2, and are sufficient to achieve the outcomes. Services and support are only part of what people want and need to live the life they would choose for themselves. Knowing what services you need can only come after planning what sort of life you want. How can you find out more or access local services and support? You can find out more about the SEND reforms and the education, health and care planning process by visiting the local offer page on your local authority website. Here you will be able to find impartial information, advice and support and learn about all the services that are available to you. Parents who require additional support are referred to their local information, advice and support service. Further information, including a useful resource on how to write good quality EHC plans, can be found at councilfordisabledchildren.org.uk.